Hey guys, it's the Call of Duty Gamer here, and in this video I have a safeguard gameplay. And this is by far my best safeguard gameplay. I didn't play this too much in the beta, but I do go on a tear at different points throughout this game. I'm using the Razorback SMG with the long barrel, red dot sight, foregrip, and I believe quick draw maybe, as <laughs> right there. Oh, I'm able to get all four of those guys from behind. Uh, the real key to this game mode is flanking a lot. I know you guys might not want too many tips and tricks at this point because the beta is over. But don't worry, I will be posting videos all the way up until the full launch of this game. Which I'm very excited about. I have a ton of content I will be posting and I actually got pretty mad. I did get my Hellstorm there, but I got mad that I died before I could get the VSAT. But the Hellstorm is kind of overpowered in this game mode as I get a quad, a triple right there and I disabled the robot. So I'm again only 400 points away from my next hellstorm. This is a longer gameplay but it is fairly action-packed because I do go on a pretty long kill streak in the middle as so I get a kill right there with the grenade. As you can see in the title I do get 97 kills in this game. I was very mad that I died off of 100 and right there I, I tried to jump out of the way I'm like I'm out of here but I hit the wall and I had to stay and it actually cost me a death. But this gameplay is pretty good if you, in the future, I'm probably going to do a commentary on this full game as I get two scythe kills, three scythe kills, four scythe kills flanking these guys. And in the future, if you'd like me to do a commentary on the full game, tell me in the comments and like this video. But if you just want me to do a intro at the beginning and then let it play, you can also tell me that as I got a fifth scythe kill a minute ago. But yeah, flanking is so key in this game that I cannot stress that enough. If you can be, don't, although when you're flanking, don't go too far into the enemy spawns because the enemies will continue to spawn there even if you're there and sort of around there. And if you flank too far into the spawns, then uh, it's likely that the enemies will flank behind you and get you. I got another kill there. I'm 325 off the hater, which is my goal right now. I want to get my hater and my wraps, but get one more kill. I saw a couple guys here. I saw that there were two guys. I'm like, I cannot take out all those guys at range. And do you see how many grenades they threw? Three grenades into there. I was surprised he didn't get a grenade kill there. I am 25 off the hater. But here we go. We got the hater. And we are on a merciless right now. I can't remember if that's a... I'm pretty sure that's just a 10 gun streak. Yeah, it's a 10 gun streak because I just got the hater. That would make sense. But we're going to use our hellstorm here. And I'm pretty sure I only get like one kill. Yeah, I only get one kill with the hellstorm. But... We are calling in the wraps, which in looking back was probably not the smartest decision. I probably could have waited until the next round to call it in because there's only a minute and 50 seconds left and the wraps take a minute or so to actually come down. But uh, always learning. Of course, this is a beta, so I don't have the best strategy. And I, I absolutely love the hater. I'm kind of sad that there wasn't anything like that in Advanced Warfare. Um, but I'll also be try I'm trying earlier today I was grinding as I got a triple kill with the wraps The wraps are actually fairly good in this game mode if the enemies are pushing up onto the robot Because one of them can get on the robot it explodes and it kills all of them Earlier today I was trying to get some advanced warfare gameplay um, Of the three new guns that are coming I was going to buy them in some advanced supply drops But I was like they're not really worth it and buying advanced supply drops at least for me is kind of addicting <laughs> I mean, because you get one and then you're like, oh, the because I like bought this one and I didn't get it, the odds, for example, if I didn't get a good gun, like say I bought like 30 and then I didn't get a gun, the odds of me getting it in the next one are higher, but like it's just honestly not worth it. I mean, it's just a game and obviously, yeah, you're going to buy the game, but that's just extra stuff in the game that you don't really need. I'm not really going to use it too much, honestly. I was 30 and 4 to end this round. I actually do pretty bad in this in the next round after this, which uh, sort of hurt me getting onto 100 kills. I really want to get onto 100 kills. And I really do like this ACOG site. I know it's not called the ACOG, but I pick it up later when I'm on a streak and I run out of ammo, and I end up using it on the ARK, and I really do like it. I don't know what it is about it. I just find that it's really easy for acquiring targets. Now I'm going to push up pretty far here. I believe I'm 650 points off of my Hellstorm. I'm going to get a grenade in there. That's a very common spot to try to get grenades. And I'm going to get killed. There are grenades everywhere. And, excuse me, I die. I, I'm not sure if I sound a lot 
Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Not sure if I was on a longer kill streak. Yet. I'm, I'm gonna try to do this in one take because it's like a 17 minute commentary. And I don't want to mess up in the middle. Oh, no, and I died there. See, look, I I have trouble getting kills right off the bat there. I finally get my first kill this round after dying like three times. And there we go. We got a second kill. And at this point, I'm trying to get to my hellstorm. So once you get to my hellstorm, it leads you into your next streaks. And my sixth sense helped me out there. And I was able to see that there's a guy there. But then I believe my teammates took him out. And then I'm able to flank these guys a little bit, but my teammates take them out before. Now I'm in their base. Uh, this is a bit too far of a push up. I should have just waited in that window or got behind a car and just waited for the enemies to come to me instead of me going to them. Because there's, they're just going to keep spawning there. It's endless and you can only shoot at one enemy at once. And I actually just have an abysmal round right here. I go like... What was I? I was 39-13 at the end of this round, I believe. 30... Oh, no, never mind. I think it was 39-11. So, I think I go on a streak before this round ends. Like, a pretty small streak, but a streak nonetheless. I push up into their base again. And this is where you want to be. You want to be all the way behind them. And sort of behind this pillar. Or behind one of those cars. Because then they will spawn in front of you. And... Instead of spawning behind you. And although I did get taken out there, that is a pretty decent flank if you guys want to use it when the actual game does come out. Which seems like a while from now. But uh, my Road to Max Rank, my final episode, I actually did pretty well in it. I went like, tw I was like 31 and like 9. And then it just kicked me off and said like, error. But it was really because the beta ended. And that was, I felt like a good ending to the beta. Went on a pretty good, had a pretty good gameplay with the M8A7. And that'll probably come out only a couple days before the actual game comes out. Which is hard to believe that I have that much content, but I actually do. I recorded so much. And I obviously might not be posting every day. Uh, at least Black Ops 3. I'm going to be posting some Advanced Warfare also. I know a lot of you guys might not like Advanced Warfare nearly as much as Black Ops 3. But, I mean, it is the current game that's out right now. And they are still bringing new guns into the game, so... Gonna try to get some footage of the new guns. Other than that, I'm probably not gonna post too much content of Advanced Warfare. Unless I get like a DNA bomb or something. And go get, get a cool gameplay. But uh, other than that, I won't really be posting any Advanced Warfare. Although, I have a pretty in-depth video comparing Black Ops 3 and Advanced Warfare coming out. And it'll come out probably in the next week. And I'm cautious right here. Because I know I'm in their spawn. And I'm just making sure that to check all of my flanks. And I see that I knew that guy picked up his care package right there. And this is actually useless because I shoot that next guy, but then why I I should have stayed behind cover when I was reloading. But it doesn't matter because this is where my big streak begins. Uh, yeah, I should stay behind cover when I was reloading there because I'm in their base, right? They're gonna keep spawning there. But here we go. This is the beginning of the streak. We missed those first three kills actually, and I'm like. Oh crap, I wasted some ammo, which just come into play later. But here we go, we are sort of just looking around. It does get kind of quiet and not too much happens for a little bit here. As you can see, my teammates do have a pretty good setup there, but they, my teammates did respawn and this is where I start doing well. So I got my first kill of this streak there, and then all the enemies spawn there, and I don't want to shoot from long range, so I get that first guy. And I saw that other guy ran in, and I'm like, my teammates will be able to take him out. I'm gonna get a reload there behind cover, as you can see. And I almost died there. I was able to use a slide and maneuver out of there, and I get that last kill around a corner. Uh, he might have been lagging. I might have been lagging. I don't know, but I did not think I would have killed that guy. But I'm being cautious here. I don't know why I wasn't really on that big of a streak, but... You know, I always want to go on the streaks is the real thing. And I decide to, like, reload and just get out of there. And since I only had, like, one magazine left, I decided to switch to my scythe. And I get one kill there. And the scythe shoots so fast. And I see that there's some enemies on the robot. I'm cautious to watch that side. So, again, I don't get flanked. You have to watch your flank so much. And I get so lucky here. So I kill that first guy. There's literally six enemies around me. And my teammate gets the quad feed hellstorm that honestly saved me. And here I'm going to go with my hellstorm. Stupid decision. That guy, see that guy that's flanking me? I end up just killing him before he's able to flank me. So that was lucky as well. There's a lot of luck, obviously, involved in most 
longer kill streaks. But I'm gonna get that last kill with the sight, and then this guy could have killed me and I was switching weapons, but I did have fast hands and he didn't see me. So at this point I have 26 bullets left in my razorback, and I'm like I don't have too much, and especially after I kill this guy, I only have 12. So my hater is ready, and I kill that guy with the ARK. Again, fast hands does save me a lot in this. And so I'm going to call in the raps first, call in the hater, and we maxed out our streaks. So we are going to push up, and we know the enemies are coming. And this is the ACOG footage I am talking about. ARK with a suppressor, I believe, and that's about it. And obviously the ACOG. But I miss some kills there, and I see this guy's coming over. The hater is so useful just for, like, you can pre-fire guys so much. And I knew that guy was coming around the corner, and I was able to get him. We're on a Ruthless right now, which I believe is a 15-gun streak. Sorry, just got interrupted there. We're just going to pick up where we left off, and I bring in this Hellstorm. And we're going to get a triple, oh, a quad. I actually forgot I got the quad there. I'm going to get one more with the scythe. And scythe kills and your specialist kills do count towards your, like, gun streaks. So they do count as guns. And that's a relentless, which is a 20, 20 gun streak. That's 22 gun streak. And I'm going to switch back to the razor back here, which it turns out does replenish its ammo. And I wanted to use the ARK, actually, because I was liking it. But that did run out of ammo because only had 18 bullets left. But I'm going to get the 23rd kill there. 24th kill. 25th kill. And this next guy, I'm going to come over here. And this is where it ends. I end up dying because I thought I got four hits into him because my... I thought I killed him because my hater assist, like, popped up. But uh, we get two more Hellstorm kills there. And honestly, I said I was going to do a full commentary on this. I'm, I'm just going to end the video here. At least end my commentary. That's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for much more Black Ops 3 gameplay. I'm going to let the rest of the gameplay play in the background because it is pretty good. That's about it for this video, guys. And thanks for watching. Final munitions away. Good job, CDP. Do it again and let's go home. Mission time extended. Ensure that the robot makes it to the enemy base intact. Boot sequence complete. Robot systems are online. UAV incoming.
robot systems are online. Good job, CDP. Mission reassignments inbound. Positive. Optimal outcome achieved. 